Never forget your protection and let's add a custom armor set to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Oh ho ho ho. All right. We find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, yes, we are going to add a custom armor set to our Minecraft mod. And it's going to be very interesting indeed. Now for this, what we'll need is, of course, some new items. But first, we will need a custom armor material similar to the custom tool tier. So in our item package, what we're going to do is we're going to right click new Java class called the mod armor materials class. Now for this, we will actually need to copy over a helper method. This is going to be, of course, as always, available to you down below in the description in the GitHub repository. So you have nothing to fear and you'll see why I copied it over because there are actually quite a few things. Now to quickly go through this, this register method over here obviously registers an armor material. In our case, we need it to be a holder of an armor material, but it's basically the same thing. You can see that we're defining a location right here that is pretty much just based on your mod ID and then the name you pass into the register method. The equip sound right here is always going to be the netherite one. However, you could also simply add this as a parameter and then just use that instead. The ingredient over here is for repairing and then the layer. We don't really need to worry about that too much as we're just going to add one basic layer over here. And that is that. And then when it comes to this enum map, we'll actually see what that is. And then let's get to registering our custom armor material. So this is going to be a public static final holder of type armor material. And it's going to be the alexandrite underscore armor underscore material equal to the register method that we've just created. Name over here, of course, alexandrite. Then we're going to call util.make, passing in a new enum map over here, enum map of type armor item dot type dot class. Very crazy over here. After the first closing parenthesis, we'll start typing an attribute and then an arrow right here, putting in the curly brackets. We can close this over here with a semicolon. And then inside of the curly brackets, what we want is we want to say attribute dot put. We want to put armor item type and you can see dot boots over here with a five. And then we can actually duplicate this a couple of times, namely four times and then continue over here. So this is going to be leggings with a seven. We're going to have a chest plate with a 9. We're going to have a helmet with a 5 as well. And lastly, a body with an 11. And as always, like I said, the code is available. After the first closing parenthesis, so we're going to have the closing curly bracket, closing parenthesis, comma, 15 for the enchantability. Let's do like a 3 or 4 on toughness and a 0.1 F for the knockback resistance. And lastly, we have the supplier of a item over here so this is mod items dot alexandrite dot get and that is going to be the repair material for this particular armor material the attributes right here those are the protection amounts for each of the different well, types right the boots the chest plate and so on and so forth all the way until the body which would be for an animal armor in this case and I highly recommend you press shift twice and we look at the armor materials class include non-project items right here. And then we see it right here because at the very bottom right here, you can see there are the different well, numbers for each of the vanilla values, right? So for each of the vanilla armor materials, highly recommended to take a look at this as it can basically, I mean, it just serves it for you to, uh, well, balance your custom armor just a little bit better. With this mod armor materials class done, we can move on to the mod items class and actually register all four of our armor items. We'll start with a public static final registry object of a type item here, of course. And that's going to be, first of all, the alexandroid underscore helmet equal to the items dot register method over here. This is going to be alexandroid underscore helmet. There we go, which is, of course, a new armor item in this case, passing in mod armor materials dot alexandrite armor material, then passing in the types, so this is going to be helmet, comma, and then we're going to make a new item properties. And the durability over here has to be set to once again, armor item dot type dot helmet dot get durability. And then we can choose a durability factor, let's say something like 18, for example, and there you go. When it comes to the durability right here, we can also press shift twice, go into the items class and actually take a look at that too. And that's going to be for, let's say the helmet, any helmet is going to be fine. We can actually see 
Now, the durability over here depends on what the type is. So, for example, netherite over here, right, which would have a durability factor of 37. So, once again, for balancing purposes, that is going to be a good idea. We can then duplicate this three additional times, and we're going to change this to chest plate. You then want to change the name as well. This is quite important to chest plate. Then we want to change the type to chest plate, and lastly, the type for the durability to chest plate as well. So, basically, three or four, rather four different things to change. The name, the name, then the first type over here, and then the second type. Don't forget any of those because otherwise you'll be wearing your leggings as your helmet and that would be not too, that that, that would not be too conducive to a good thing. So there you go. And that's going to be boots. And then lastly, the boots right here as well. And with the four items done, let's actually add them to the creative mode tab that is like a, an easy thing to basically forget. That's going to be for the helmet. I get the chest plate. We're going to get the leggings and we're going to get the boots. And there we have it. Add it to the creative mode tab and then we can actually go down to the textures and the translation. Obviously, the translation is super easy. And then when it comes to the textures, well, the item textures, very, very straightforward. Obviously, that is just going to be the boots, the chest plate, the leggings, as well as the helmet here as items. However, this is not everything because when you don an armor, well, what happens? Well, obviously, you have a three-dimensional texture, so to speak, around you. And that is going to be under textures, new directory called models, into there, a new directory called armor, the American spelling. And then we're going to have Alexandra underscore layer underscore one and Alexandra underscore layer underscore two. And you can actually see those two as well. So those are basically going to be looking kind of like this. So you have the chest plate and the helmet right here and then here we got the boots and the leggings so to speak and those basically sort of they make the three-dimensional armor you can add some additional you know pixels out here and you can change this up of course however do note that obviously you can't do like any type of three-dimensional model with this it is a little bit restrictive also note that the name has to match exactly so alexandrite and then underscore layer underscore one and underscore layer underscore two the alexandrite obviously taken from the name that we're giving it right here shouldn't be anything too crazy in that instance and there you go with that done we can move on to the data gen because that is going to be quite interesting indeed we're going to start with the let's actually think about this uh the item models yes of course the item models and the item models are quite interesting because what you will find is that well we're just going to do like a you know a basic item model or something right ah ha ha sadly not now the reason is actually quite crazy because our custom armor right should be trimmable and that's great because that is awesome however when you look at trimmed armor in your inventory it has specifically a different texture when it is trimmed and those actually have even different colors for this i'm going to copy over a, cu a couple of things over here so the first thing is a linked hash map right here of trim materials this is needed to determine what the trim material is and then what basically color it changes into so that's determined by these little you know by the by the float over here the point one all the way to 1.0 and then i'm going to copy over the helper method and this is a one heck of a helper method this is by the way shout out to l redstone Yanyo for actually helping with this by the way because uh th well in 120 this method was a little bit different because nowadays it's actually completely different because it is um well you know 121 changed a lot of stuff again uh, sadly we are not able to actually access the vanilla method that would literally do the exact same thing that is just one thing that doesn't work in in forge for some reason but it is fine because we have this trimmed method and here we're just going to say mod items dot alexandrite helmet we're going to just copy this over four times for the chest plate we're going to do the leggings we're going to go do the boots and there we go now this is going to generate us 44 different json files because each of these items basically needs 10 additional JSON files in order to be, well, shown properly into the inventory if you have them trimmed, right? If you have actually a, like a trim on there. Uh, and that is basically what all of this craziness is needed for. It's kind of stupid. I don't know why we don't have access to it. I think that it is in the item model generators class, I want to say. I believe it should be here armor it is in uh, armor generate armor trims there we go and you can see this will do exactly the same thing however for some reason we 
you don't have access to it in a forge in this case in fabric is all it's all well but it is what it is we also don't have access to this in neo forge yet i think though they are working on something like this whatever the case may be this is what we have and another important thing to actually make your custom armor trimmable you need to add this to the correct tag so we want to say tag and then say item tags dot trimmable armor and we need to add all th four of our items over here so we're gonna, this is going to be the helmet and then all the way or the, also the helmet dot get so add the dot get over here that's quite important this is going to be for the chest plate no not the chisel but the chest plate we have the leggings and we're gonna have the boots as well and there we go this is extremely important otherwise you will not be able to insert your custom or the, the, the items basically into the smithing table so without this it's not going to work but with that we actually have everything that we need so first and foremost let's run the data to generate all the json files i'll actually be showing those as well and then we can actually see those in a second there we go we can see 45 different json files written like i said and if we go into the item models folder look at this insanity right so basically the custom helmet over here depending on the trim type that it has it then points to a different model over here that just adds another layer in this case when it comes to the trims i don't know why they did it like this i mean you know maybe they just i don't know maybe there isn't actually a better way to do it but it is kind of strange whatever the case may be though that is going to be everything when we need so let's jump into the game and see if it works all oh, right found this back in minecraft and as you can see all of the armor here has been successfully added and if i put it on you can see absolutely freaking fantastic man and of course just for the sanity check let's actually take a look and you can of course see that we can trim this without any freaking issues and if i were to put all of this on you can see it even looks pretty freaking stylish absolutely amazing and that is custom armor added to minecraft awesome as always all of the code is available down below but that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here next time in this video we'll talk about a full armor effect hope to see you there so yeah